What's up guys, it's myself here from Stratagenesis and uh, casting the next level of the Bioshock Guide. This is, I guess, the second video of the Bioshock Guide. Uh, being the Medical Pavilion, this video will be split in two, uh, in two parts. Um, and this one shows all the... Uh, well, I already said it last time, but this one's basically going to concentrate on... On uh, gathering all the um, audio diaries, um, and I'll be listing them uh, as far as times go, so you can just skip to if you're ever missing one or something like that. You can just skip to where it is um, without having to watch the whole thing. So uh, just making it more convenient for people to watch the video. Also, a word on the hacks. Uh, this is uh, one of the first few hacks that I'm gonna just keep in case you for some reason haven't uh, played the game before and and uh, are watching this uh, basically what you want to do is just connect the pipes until one end matches the other end uh, this one's a little slightly more sped up than the other one and pretty soon I'm just gonna be cutting them out altogether because that um, saves on time I mean each hack can easily take up like 40 seconds or so so um, over the course of the game, that really adds up, so we're just going to be cutting them out all together. It's good to note that the, uh, the AI robots, uh, the bots, machines, and stuff that you hack, um, they they'll attack you if you're in like in between a bad guy and them. So just keep that in mind. Stay out of their fire uh, line of fire. Um, just a note here, uh, as far as this difficulty is concerned, there's still a lot of ammo to go around, so you don't really have to be um, super conservative with the ammo. I mean, you shouldn't go and waste it all, but like right now you, you have uh, plenty of ammo here on this machine gun. Definitely use it to soft, uh, soften up these guys that are coming down the stairs. Um, hopefully, you know, without getting gunned down yourself, because you can see they're, they're pretty good shots even from that distance, so. But yeah, use, uh, use a machine gun to mow them down. There's plenty of machine gun ammo, uh, like, all over this game, so definitely use that gun to, when you have large crowds of people, that's a great, great gun to use. Um, the pistol is, uh, is fairly strong also, it's actually very strong in the beginning, and, but you get the most effective use out of it, um, from headshots. So, the machine gun doesn't actually benefit from headshots, so just, you can shoot them wherever, wherever you want, the, you know, foot or the head, it's pretty much the same damage, I'm pretty sure about that. So, that's just something to keep in mind. You don't have to be uh, super conservative with them. As you can see, that headshot took off like 70% of their health. Uh, later on, when you get more special types of ammo, like the anti-personal rounds, um, those are really, really good, uh, especially when you have to fight a lot of people. Um, you make 
you know, single well-placed shots with that pistol and you can drop a lot of people really quickly. Also, um, try not to lose this, uh, this turret, um, up ahead, up ahead, I'm gonna fight one of the guys, uh, that throws, like, grenades and stuff, and he actually ends up blowing my robot, um, and by mistake, I end up dying without saving, so, I had to restart it, and, um, pretty, uh, at some point you'll see me just pretty much splice the video up ahead, um, up to where I'd gotten, and the bot will like appear right in front of me. It's actually really funny. Which is like, it just kind of like pops out of nowhere. Turrets in this uh, zone, in this area here. Um, and they, they'll be really, really helpful later on to uh, to fight the big daddy. So don't get them killed whatsoever. So if there's people walking around um, and they're shooting at them, you want to go help your turret kill the, that person so that uh, they don't. Uh, so the turret doesn't take too much damage. Um, it's really important that you keep them alive because it it makes fighting the big daddy. Um, a lot, a lot easier. So, so as you saw there, I was just drawing her fire, and uh, the turret just pretty much did the rest of the job. Look at that! Whoa, that's some Bioshock prawn right there. And that's where the other turret is back there. You wanna, you wanna get that at some point. But I'm just walking around uh, collecting items and the uh, diaries first. These devices here heal you. Um, you want to hack those. You always want to keep those hacked because um, so a lot of times the enemies will run to them and heal up. Even bosses will, so that's good to know. Just always hack them. And they're also cheaper to to use than uh, than the first aid kits. I think a first aid kit costs like 15 or 16 maybe a little more to heal and a hacked um, first aid station can heal you as many times as you want for 10, um, 10 bucks so it's just good to know If for whatever reason or another you need to uh, destroy a turret, um, you can use the armored piercing bullets that you just got there for the pistol, because it does extra like a bunch more damage to them. However, the armor piercing bullets are the uh, bullets do actually extra damage to the big daddies. So 
in this first area. I don't know if I end up using it, but should you know, should a big daddy be chasing you um, later on, um, and you're not able to just pretty much mow it down with the machine gun, the the armor piercing bullets are great to just you know pretty much poke in and out and, uh, and just whittle it down. And there's uh, there are you should pretty much be maxed out on on uh, the armor piercing by the time you get to fight a big daddy. So that's just something to keep in mind. See, I didn't I, I didn't actually hack that one right there, but um, you totally should. That's where I, that's that uh, not hacking that one is the reason why I died. Um, by the way. But uh, you won't see it on this video because I, I spliced in the, the connection to that. That's where I was. That's where my bot died. The easiest way to kill these guys is to rush them. Um, if you if you rush them, then they throw a smoke bomb on the ground and they try to run away from you. So between throwing a lightning at them and stunning them and just shooting them in the, in the head when you get the chance um, that uh, keeps you from you know getting a grenade in your face but also um, also keep in mind that when they die they drop a grenade so um, if you're meleeing them you're you're gonna get hit but if you uh, you know for the kill shot just make sure you just shoot them and uh, get away from them from their body when Picasso became bored of painting people he started Representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. When you incinerate that body right there, um, you get a tonic. Your I think your very first tonic, which is called Hacker's Delight. And what that does is that it allows you to recover HP um, from hacking stuff. Um, that's really helpful considering how many things there are to hack all over this uh, this world. It's just literally tons of stuff. So you definitely want to. <laughs> That's where I spliced in the video, by the way. If you notice, the bot just popped right in front of me. Um, I managed to save the bot that time around. Um, one thing I do here, uh, if your bot's still alive, you want to make sure that he doesn't engage the people that are going to attack you. Um, because he can take damage. So you just turn him off right there. And uh, then go um, continue this part of the mission. Which is... Uh, to get the incinerate and then yeah. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Warning, fire spreads. Hint, hint. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so once you get your bot back, you want to collect this ammo, machine gun round that's right behind there. And 
that should get you set up with a good amount of ammo if you haven't spent any. Um, just to mow down a couple people with it. Don't forget the electric buck back here. That's uh, that's gonna be important to get that ammo and uh, saving for good measure. actually looks like you can uh, light the ground on fire because it's like a puddle but I guess it's not enough water that she's standing on so you just gotta take her out somehow oh, Combination to this door here is zero four five one. How convenient. This just shows you how powerful the fire is. It's like a damage over time. Thing. It pretty much took off like all her health. So that's just something to keep in mind. You know, for strong enemies, if you light them on fire, and as so long as they're on fire, they're always taking damage. So keep you know big enemies on fire like the uh, big daddies, and and uh, you know that'll do its own damage. Let it run its own course. Don't forget to hack the safe there that I uh, ignored for a second. I was just making sure that there wasn't anything else to grab there.
Anyways, we're getting close to the end of the video here, so just click on the next button if it's up, and it'll take you to the next part of the video.